The Argyle Diamond Mine in Western Australia is one of the only known sources of pink diamonds in the world. Operating for more than 35 years, the mine is due to close next year, leaving jewellers around the world in hot pursuit of the last of the rare Argyle coloured stones. ABC News Tonight reporter Rebecca Ammer has more. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. With the Argyle mine set to close, what does that mean for the future of the world-class coloured stones and the jewellers who supply them? Let's have a chat with gemologist Michael Newman, who has the largest selection of pink Argyle diamonds in the country. So these are a selection of our Argyle pink diamonds. Well, obviously, because we've been selling pinks for a very long time, um, there will be an effect because we won't be getting the ongoing supply as we have for the past 30 odd years. We're not concerned about the closing of the mine. Obviously, uh, we think it will make our, our stock holding uh, a little bit more valuable. We've already taken steps to try and um, change the direction or modify the direction of our business a little bit. One of the last tenders from the Argyle mine was finalised earlier this month. You had a couple of bids in. How did you go? A little bit disappointing to say that we didn't actually win any of the stones that we bid on. There's huge international interest. I mean, this is a very unique and rare Australian product, um, the Argyle Pink Diamonds, which are really recognised all over the world as being the pinnacle of the, the coloured diamond um, you know, world, really. This is currently our largest tender diamond. And this stone in the middle, this is a diamond from the Argyle mine? From the Argyle tender a number of years ago. And what makes a pink diamond so special? Well, for starters, more than 90% of the world's pink diamond supply comes from this one mine here in Australia, up in the remote Kimberleys of Western Australia. They're phenomenally rare. A one carat pink diamond is akin to a 20 or 30 carat white diamond. So they're very, very rare um, in those sizes. One carat pinks, I would estimate there would be less than 100 of them produced in a year. In terms of consumer trends, what are your customers looking for in a diamond? Obviously, we don't only sell pink diamonds and the majority of our clientele are in the market for regular diamonds, um, what we call white or colourless diamonds. And so the trends have been um, more towards fancy shapes. Of course, round continues to be the choice of most people. How has that impacted the sale of the true diamonds? But we feel that there, there is no real inherent value in synthetic diamonds because they're, they're manufactured. So really, um, we don't see it as a problem. Where, where it can be a problem is where they sneak in undetected. Um, and that is something that everybody has to be very aware of. And so where that is concerned, we focus very much on our supply chain. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> 